So if you were to increase his damage percent by 21 instead, you'll see that his damage will go down to 85,500. This represents the area optimization problem. <laughs> maybe we die maybe we just die hey, it. Uh, just, this is my no pull account however my account will be ruined soon and i will be forced to pull on it why well see we were able to perfect clear pure fiction defeated every simulated universe completed 30 stars of the original moc and even managed to get 35 stars on the most recent moc however i made a terrible rule where i will be pulling on all the standard tickets once i get to 300 unless i can get all 36 six stars in the memory of chaos and beat this warpless challenge a challenge that no one has been yet and with the most recent moc reset comes a fresh opportunity another chance so i was pretty optimistic but there was one major problem yeah the new memory of chaos it's the hardest one yet or is it regardless that won't dissuade us as you guys will see exactly why in just a bit see floor seven eight and nine we're all very easy for this account Here's the teams that I use. However, there is a new enemy, the Shell Dino. This mob deals a ton of damage to your party, but an easy way to counter it is to bring imaginary or quantum characters to weakness break it, since it will take extra damage when it is in its weakness broken state. As for floor 10, well, there were a few hiccups because of Zila. All right, we should be fine. A few moments later. No, it's my Why turn. are you one HP? Oh my God, I no, hate this guy, turn. I hate this guy. I hate this guy so much. Why does he do so much damage? Why? Just why? But just like Firefly, he still haunts me to this day. However, we were able to easily beat Sam after I decided to give my Lynx her four-piece eagle set in order to make her as fast as a cat. That's enough. Put down the mic. This made it so that Sam can't loop us four consecutive turns as she has enough speed to actually interrupt him and heal the team in time. As for floor 11, I opted to use the following team. Lynx on the first half is very crucial as she allows us to cleanse the damage reduction debuff from the gatekeeper, thereby allowing us to keep up with the DPS. But now you're probably curious. Zeto, if you're using Lynx to cleanse the gatekeeper's AoE attack, how are you going to handle its imprison attack in its charged state? Well, take a look at this neat trick that I used here to completely neutralize this mob. Okay, so we're gonna start off by using Don Hang's normal attack on the Aramaton Gatekeeper. Link's also normal attacks the Aramaton Gatekeeper. Yu Kong is gonna just skill and servo just normal attack. So now it's at 0%. Aramaton Gatekeeper is now at 33% sanction mode. Don Hang will skill in order to make it go to 66%. And then Turbulence buff comes in. We're gonna skill with Yu Kong, but hold the ultimate because servo is gonna break the Aramaton Gatekeeper. And then Yu Kong is gonna ultimate the Aramaton Gatekeeper and follow it up with Don Hang's ultimate. Then we'll ultimate here with Don Hang and it should deal a ton of damage and now it's going to recover from its toughness break and enter its sanction mode after hitting 100% with its AoE attack there. So now the goal is to focus our whole damage with Servo onto the fish here and activate the turbulence buff with Servo skill. Wipe out the fish and now look at it. It's a 1 HP and Don Hang can finish it off easily, right? And there we have it. We perfectly just neutralized the Aramaton Gatekeeper. It did not get a single imprisoned attack off, which is pretty nice for us. However, the hardest part about the first half fight would definitely be surviving Yang Ching's combo. Because if he targets Don Hang or Serval with one single combo, it's all ogre. Even though the fight is RNG, it was pretty straightforward. And after a few attempts, we were able to take Small Boy down. Uh, we won't make it. Or will we? Ah, we did it! 26 cycles! Nice. That's like two more cycles than we were before. Perfect. As for the second half, March made the fight extremely easy. Her ability to shield and also freeze rendered the enemies useless, especially the uh, the Jizz Gorilla. As you guys can see here, whenever the Gorilla would use an attack on a character that was shielded by March, it would get its defense reduced greatly. Not only that, similar to the Aramaton Gatekeeper, the Gorilla has this annoying mechanic where it charges up and becomes immune to toughness break. So an easy way to counter this is to have March freeze ready for it to deny the extra action, so therefore it won't become immune to weakness break. As for Branya, once the other enemies are defeated, she can easily be taken out, especially if you have March's ultimate ready to freeze her, like I did here. This allowed me to toughness break Branya with best girl Sushong, extending her toughness broken state longer for Dr. Ratio to dump its load. However, the real battle is coming up, and this is where we find out the truth. Can we three star this MOC 12? There's only one way to find out. As for MOC 12, this stage has been impossibly hard for me so far due to the DPS check. 
The enemies have such an insane amount of HP, it's kind of ridiculous. See, the goal here for the first half is to get 25 cycles remaining so that I could have at least 6 full cycles for the second half. Anything lower like 24 cycles remaining will be a guaranteed failure. If you guys saw in the previous video, I tried to do that on both of the previous MOC and even though I was close, I ultimately failed. So therefore, 25 cycles remaining in the first half is the dream. And after tackling this for 20 plus tries, this was my best attempt. As you guys can see, initially I made the decision to use QQ and Serval, but that was a mistake. QQ just eats up way too many skill points without Hanya, and Hanya cannot be moved because she is needed in the second half. So I substituted both of them for Dr. Ratio and Gwenaifin. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Zeto, why did you remove Serval? Isn't she great since all the enemies are weak to lightning? And while Serval is a decent damage dealer, her damage is mediocre without Eidolons, and if I am running a dual DPS comp, that makes it even worse for her, as she needs a lot of support. So instead, I decided to run a hyper carry Dr. Ratio with a sub DPS Gwenaifin. Why Gwenaifin? Well, she is very OP because she has access to an additional undiluted damage multiplier, meaning that whatever damage we are doing with Dr. Ratio before her fire kiss buff is then increased by an extra 21%. So if Dr. Ratio dealt 75,000 damage, he will now deal 90,000 damage. So what is the difference between normal percent damage increase and this multiplier increase? So if you were to increase his damage percent by 21 instead, you'll see that his damage will go down to 85,500. This represents the area optimization problem. Having a new percent multiplier column is greater or better than adding the same percentage to an old one. Therefore, Asta herself cannot solo support for both Serval and Dr. Ratio, so I will be using Gwenaifin instead of Serval. Not only that, my Gwenaifin is built to deal damage herself with a nice break hybrid build. So therefore, as seen here, she's great for hand handling the trash mob summoned by the frigid prowler as her skill and ultimate is enough to ensure their death. Therefore, we do not have to worry about any AoE damage from our DPS. And with our insane Dr. Ratio build and his team optimized, after countless number of failures, it came down to this. 25 cycles remaining is the dream. There we go, 28 cycles. 28 cycles! Oh wait, never mind. Hopefully this kills. Nice. And hopefully this kills. Come on. Come on. Yes! And we still have Asa's ultimate. Oh, this is beautiful. Brilliant. Spectacular. Magnificent. We are in such a good shape right now. Holy moly. We just need to live. That's a lot of damage. Oh, please don't die. No, please don't. Die. No. Oh my gosh. I'm so scared for my life. We have ultimate now though. That kind of sucked for us, but that's okay. I want to save my ultimate to be honest for the next round. No, I should ultimate now. Okay, I have to ultimate here. Otherwise, I die. Okay, that's good. Not too bad. No, maybe you should heal. Yeah, let's just heal. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> let's kill here. No, come on. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. At least we can heal, right? Okay, for sure we cannot normal attack with links to get the energy. So I'm just going to normal attack. And then immediately ult, I think. Uh, let's remove it. Let's remove it. Let's remove it. Hopefully it removes, right? It should. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm going to need to do that. Ultimate here. Let's go ahead and skill to break. Follow up. Nice. Dude, that's such good damage. I wish I had my skill. I wish I had one skill here. Oh, it didn't break. Oh, no, this is bad. Okay, I'm going to ultimate with A Asta then. And hopefully we survive. I think we should. We should be fine. Let's go ahead and live. Nice, nice. Let's kill. Into an ultimate. One more damage. This is not a... I should have healed, actually. But I'm going to risk it. Skill Kokolia. Uh, oh, come on. We're so close. 25. We're looking for 25. No! Oh my god, this is so nerve-wracking. We need to attack. Yep. 
Let's attack. Play safe and heal. Yes. A little nervous here. Wish I could skill, but I can't. I literally cannot. That's the unfortunate part. Okay, we should be fine skilling here. Okay. I think if we live, we should be fine. If we live, come on. Yes, we lived. Okay, good. Let's normal attack. Normal attack. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal here. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then ultimate with Dr. Ratio. Hopefully something kills. I don't know if I should have ulted. I'm not sure if I should have ulted Kokolia or ulted the dino here, but I don't know. This is it. Can we ultimate right now? Please give me an extra action. No, it doesn't. We don't get an extra action. Oh, no. I think I go for the dino. I don't know if they live. No, this is so bad. I'm going to have to risk it here and go for the dino because I think the dino has way more HP than Kokolia. Oh, this sucks. This sucks so much. Please kill both. Please kill both. Please kill both. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, that's so clutch. We have 25 cycles remaining. This could actually be possible. I have never made it to 25 cycles remaining for the second half. This could be it. This was the furthest that I've gotten so far. Our moment of victory has never been this close until this happened. All right, it's time. This is the first experience with the boy on this account. Let's see how much he's gonna shit on us. It's Vegas time, baby. All right, this base should be relatively fast. We should be able to just delete this. Okay, it's deleting us. What the heck, bro? What the heck? My characters are like one HP. This base should be relatively fast. Ladies and gentlemen, we have problems. Maybe we freeze. <laughs> maybe we die maybe we just die hey fuck it they're just and even though we got slapped around like rookies at a poker table i was optimistic because we were closer than ever before we are in kill range and i had a few things cooked up for adventuring so will zeto be able to take down adventuring to finally get 36 stars and complete the game or will adventuring slap the shit out of him and will zeto finally claim all the jades from his achievements and quests or will he leave his viewers with omega ocd again find out at twitch.tv because i will be doing a big anniversary stream next week with lots of giveaways as well